So if I have two apples, and I take one... Well, I still have two apples. Wait, that's not... Oh, bloody hell, this is too hard. I've got other shit to do. See, I'm not great at maths. If only there were an educational game that could teach me the glory of mathematics. It would make learning f oh. It would make learning fun. Unfortunately, there are no such super math-based video games. Or are there? Well, yes, obviously. Math Blaster, ages 6 to 9. <laughs> 69. Why the fuck did I write that? Math Blaster is a very interesting series of educational games. The original Math Blaster was made in 1983. It was then remade as Math Blaster Plus in 1987. In 1990, it was remade again into New Math Blaster Plus, and again in 1994 as Math Blaster Episode 1, In Search of Spot, and that was kinda remade into Mega Math Blaster, which was then repackaged as Math Blaster Ages 6 to 9. Which is what we're playing today, because Blasternaut, the main character, is the only math-based superhero that I know of. And that makes this game mildly interesting. Imagine this guy hanging out with the Avengers, ugh. Our game begins with, I shit you not, the Colonel from Metal Gear Solid quoting Star Wars. In a galaxy far, far away. How should I put it? It was like they were intimate. The Colonel informs us that this little dickhead is floating around a prison planet for some unknown reason when he gets captured and used by Yellow Slime. The area of a circle is pi r squared. And this gives him the power of maths. I think. Fortunately, our heroes, Blastonaut and Galactic Commander, are right behind them on their Scooty Puff Juniors. Freud, analyze! Blastonaut, over exaggerate your acting! Blastonaut's Pokedex knows everything, and it immediately informs our heroes that the yellow slime was from a planet called Moldar, and they need the three spiritual stones from that planet to defeat him, or some bullshit? What is this, a Zelda quest? I'll get him, GC! You can count on it! Yeah, I'm literally so bad at maths that when I can't figure out a problem, I just ring up my friend Paul and ask him. What? Watch, I'll do it now! Hello? Hey Paul, um, I, I need help with, with, uh, maths. Um, uh, what, what is 55 divided by 11? Five. Five? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you, you're, you're, you're a sweetheart. Alrighty. Okay, thanks, bye! Bye! See, he's, like, I don't, I, I, I should have known that. You learned that in grade one. The gameplay in this game is, it's poo. The first level has us shooting at asteroids and space rubbish. Ooh. We get near the planet that we're going to end. Oh boy. Jellator's got an army of trolls with awesome powers. Be careful. Oh, awesome powers. I wonder what they are. It's probably something insane like space lasers. Yep, there it is. Awesome powers. It's actually so shit. The music is terrible, and the character controls like you're trying to squeeze toothpaste out of a tube, but then, then you're trying to put it back in the tube, and it's like, oh shit, now I've got toothpaste everywhere. It's on my mirror. How did it get up there? And you can't put it in, and like, that's like a whole another situation, because like, you know, your landlord's coming, and he's gonna get real mad at you, because you've just smeared toothpaste on the mirror, and you have no intention of cleaning it up, because who the fuck wants to clean toothpaste of a mirror? Anyway, I'm getting away from my point. The point is that this game is very math-based, and I don't like it. Eventually we catch up to the slimy bloke and our math based hero bounds into action by letting him get away. Fortunately, the slime monster just crashes into a meteor and kills himself. What an anti-climax! Could you imagine if Superman was fighting Lex Luthor and then Lex just turns around and runs into a door and explodes his face? That's a thing that happened in this game. Unlike the humongous entertainment games, this game is actually shit. 
I went into this game expecting some silly fun or to learn some mathematics. Unfortunately, neither happened. And I still don't know what the fuck to do about these apples. What have I told you about fucking with my apples? Well, now I only have one app. Uh, <laughs> I get it. Maths. It's a bit fucking rude. He took the apple when I was filming, though. That's not. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what a fucking adventure this will be. I mean, seriously, who the fuck cares about kelp seeds? <laughs>